Good morning, guys. We've been to the hospital. Alan's had loads of tests done. And now we are going back. They want him to come back for an MRI scan at some point. So that means another night away. Um, we're just in the city centre. We're going to make our way to the train station shortly to go home. Just wanted to see this beautiful bit of Sheffield. Beautiful buildings that remind me of Edinburgh. This is where we were last night, guys. Where we when we came to Pizza Express. It's lovely round here. Here he is. <laughs> this is the winter garden. Made out of knives and forks and spoons. Hey, these are mine. <laughs> I've got that set. Spoons. Yes. Yeah. Knives and forks and spoons. It's all made out of knives. And... Yeah. Oh, they're old spoons, aren't they? to a proper place like Sheffield it makes you realise do you Miller and Carters back to the train station back to sunny old Preston Back to my mixer, <laughs> do some baking.
Station na ba yun? Leg of the journey guys, we're at Manchester Piccadilly waiting for our train to Preston. And my daughter's messaged me to let me know that they won't be sending my mum home today because she's damaged her shoulder. She's damaged her shoulder, bless her because they've x-rayed it now after me begging them I don't know how many times asking them to x-ray her shoulder because she was in so much pain they finally x-rayed it after three weeks and they find that she's damaged it and they're talking about an operation so we can visit we can visit at our own risk there's still norovirus on the ward, um, but we can wear a mask and visit us back on if we want to do it at our own risk, which I need to do. I need to see her and I need to, um, and she needs some visitors for her mental health. It's been a week now that she's not been able to have visitors. So I'm going up there later. Watch this space because they're talking about an operation. I need to speak to somebody about that before they put her under general anaesthetic at 91. But we'll see what she's done to her shoulder first. But she's been telling them and telling them that she's been in all this pain with her shoulder. First of all, they missed a break in her wrist. And now there's something wrong with her shoulder. Anyway, I'll keep you all updated, guys. Hey, guys. I've just been to the hospital to see my mum. There's visiting now, which is great. But you've got to wear a mask. Um, a little update from what I said earlier. It got a little bit confused because I hadn't spoken to anybody at the hospital. The occupational therapist has been, and whilst I was there, spoken to us and she's assessed mum she wants to do a referral for somebody to come here to her home which I'm here now to just close blinds and put lights on and um, it's looking like she's going to be home in the next few days but they want somebody to come and assess her at home to see if she needs any carers coming in to help her in the morning have a shower and that which I can help her do but there might be some mornings when I when I'm not here like I've been to Sheffield, haven't I? So, she has got something wrong with her shoulder. They're not talking about operating now while she's in hospital. They're talking about seeing her in outpatients. It's talking about a shoulder replacement, but mum don't want that. So, we're going to see if it'll just, whatever, heal on its own. Um, she is 91 and she don't want a shoulder replacement, so... That was the operation they were talking about. But um, it's not um, serious, serious that she needs an emergency operation now. So it's something we're going to look at, but mum is adamant she doesn't want a shoulder replacement. She's a lot brighter. She's um, ready to come home, I think. So we'll just play it by you. When I go tomorrow, I'll know. I'll know more when I go tomorrow. So I'm going to get home now, guys, get my feet up because I were up at five this morning because Alan's appointment were really early. So uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.